Hey, what's up guys? Aiden here. Today we're going to be showing a tutorial on how to create fighters in EA UFC 5. And first things first, you want to go into the creator fighter section down here at the bottom. And then you want to add your new fighter. I've already worked on two here, so I've got Javonta Davis and Mike Tyson on the way. And we want to create a new fighter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for the men's division or women's division, whichever one you prefer. And then you can add your fighter. I'm going to actually continue with Javonta Davis as I need to do a little bit more work on him. So let's jump into it. So I'm going to talk you through what you need to do to get the fighter sort of looking, how you want him to look, and just talk you through the menus and whatnot. So in the first section here, we have the different fighting styles that you can give your fighter. Whether you want him to be a kickboxer, boxer, MMA, wrestler or jiu-jitsu and they're going to have specific moves which you can check out by pressing the triangle button for this character I'm going to check out Boxer Powerhouse and here I can see the different strikes that he has along with the strike power that he'll be given for each one. You can head across the categories by pressing L2 and here you can see the different kicks, spinning strikes, clinch and all the rest of it. Combos is another important part that you might want to pay attention to, especially if you're choosing between boxer different types or different kickboxer types, because some of them are going to be stronger at certain combinations and weaker at other ones. And you want to tailor that around what you want to get going. But I'm going to go for the boxer pressure for this one. For the general info, this is the section where you want to add information about your character. And one of the questions I used to get quite a lot on UFC 4 is how do you add custom names into the game? So the way to do that is you can do it quite straightforward for first name, but for last name, you actually need to scroll all the way to the top you can get there quickly by pressing L1 and then press up to get to create custom name and then here you can put in whatever name you want but I've already selected Davis because it was on the list and then similarly you can fill out social media handle manually and the rest of it's here one thing that has been added is uh, this voice section down here so you can select that and if some of you've noticed the actual fighter stance has moved to a different section we'll get into that later on for presets you might want to have a look through these but I'm generally setting them to the top left one whenever I start a new character and then just using that as the base and then working from there but if you do want to preset then go for it for the skin tone I've got a different sort of menu going on here now so you've got the default ones you can scroll all the way across and then also you've got this custom here and with the custom you've got hue saturation and brightness so with this we're able to create different kind of looking characters you can make the incredible hulk or if you wanted to make Thanos, something like that, you can just play around with these and uh, yeah, see what you guys are going to come up with. Probably Spider-Man would be the go-to one. But yeah, I'm going to leave mine as he was. For the hair, menus have been changed around a bit. So we've got hairstyle and we've got hair colour for each one and they've separated each of these separately. And your colours that you've selected for the hair earlier, for the uh, skin tone earlier, are saved here. So you can apply them to hair as well. Going across the menu, we have eyebrows face and body and I'm going to get into a little bit of how you can use tattoos as well like I've done with Joanta Davis here to fill out the rest of his facial hair where I've done it with the sideburns for example I'll give you some examples of how to do that for the head this is where you want to select the head template for your character and that's going to be the basis of where your character's face is going to be built from so yeah, be careful about, you know, be quite picky about who you're going to use for this one because some face templates obviously are not going to be working for the character that you're trying to make um, and others are going to be a little bit more well suited. And then when you're happy with your selection, generally what I tend to look at is sort of the cheekbone area, the eyes, the jaw and the proportions of the face compared to the face that I want to be making. When you're happy with that, you can go into the next menu down here and you can select all of the different regions that you need to and tweak them as you wish. And if you want some CAF formulas, then have a look through my portfolio. Have a look also on the other channels that I mentioned in the description for some excellent looking CAFs from UFC 4. And you can just bring them straight over to UFC 5, which is excellent. And that's kind of what I've done here with Javante Davis, except for I need to add maybe a few finishing touches here to him. For the eyes, you can press R1 and you can come across to this section where you've got all the different kind of eye colors. And um, yeah, that's a wrap for that section. For the body type, got different bodies here that you can select. So this year, I think they've ported it over to a new engine. And as a result, the bodies are looking a little more stocky and a little more defined. So yeah, these are the sort of selections you can go for. And um, the one I settled on for my fighter was body nine. For the tattoos, now this is the part where kind of we can really try and bring a character uniqueness to life, especially around facial hair, around facial features. And um, for example, for this character, I've used multiple layers. And that's one of the things that you can do to add more detail to a character. Press L1 and R1 to go across the different body types and let's just apply a tattoo on the leg here and I'll show you how you can do it. So you press X and then you get this tattoo. You can use the left thumbstick to move it around. Hold L1 and you can use the right thumbstick to resize it and you can also use up and down on the D-pad as well. And it's kind of a combination of both can get you sort of getting different shapes. 
see some of it depending on if you want to get a circular shape if you want to get a one and right stick make it thin and then you can get more of a sort of what you say is like a slit or something like that if you needed to do an eyebrow or something like that so now let's have a let's add some detail to his face i'm just going to add some new facial hair on to connect his goatee to his beard and one of the ones that most of the community used on previous ufc game are these animals and i think animals number 21 was my go-to so what i tend to do is i'll put it up here on the face and l1 right stick to the left and I press down on d-pad up on d-pad until i get to a size that i'm happy with and as you can see i can bring it close using the left stick left thumb stick where i want it right stick l1 up on the d-pad again and just find exactly where i want to place it and press left if i want to blend it in press left if i don't want to blend it in then leave it as is flip it upside down with triangle and square as well and then press x when i'm happy and then press left thumb stick in to make a copy of that press x again and basically you can just go through and layer it as such to get that beard filled in and then with this you're going to be able to make quite unique looking beards and um, sort of add to what is already in the game and uh, yeah improve on your calves similarly you can do for the eyebrows as well you can fill it out if you wanted to add some more detail to the eyebrows one thing i'll give you guys as well a nice one that you can use if you want to make dots in the game is this font over here clever font press x on the clever font number nine bring it up to the top of his head hold l1 and press left or right on the right stick till you get quite a big sort of square shape press down on the d-pad and then once it gets to a small dot and then you get how you can have a little dot and then with these dots you can add things like moles so for example i don't know if he has a mole here but i'm just going to add one just for argument's sake and we can put one over here as well and as such you're able to create moles in the game if you want to create wrinkles similarly with clever font number nine rotate it with a left um l2 and then l1 right stick and press down on d-pad and then for example you can get it up here give him a wrinkle and press left on the d-pad to blend it in and there you go so then you can add you know sort of features facial features facial blemishes different areas of the face and then you can that way just kind of paint on extra details to your calf so now i've created Javante davis this is uh, ever so slightly older looking one of the things you can do as well guys if you are creating tattoos that are multi-layered like i have done for the chest and let's say i wanted to move the flowers above the lady's face then i can press square and pull it up in the layers and now i've moved it up to here as you can see hiding her and if i put it under then she's hiding the flowers so just like that we can layer things i'll put it back here and um, one thing i have noticed about this um, new game is the actual tattoos seem to be transparent when you layer them so especially the, the lions and tigers so that's something i'm gonna have to look into and uh, that's why this calf is not quite complete yet i have to figure out that left tattoo next up we have the clothing menu so here you have two types, you have the Apex Kit and you have the Fight Kit. The Fight Kit is what you're going to be using in the Octagon and this is just going to be your standard UFC outfits. And the Apex Kit is going to be for all the other arenas. And yeah, basically here you're going to have a selection of all the different things that you might have unlocked through the game. Let's see, I think I've already given, been given some things. But if I can find them, that is. You know, we're in this section, yeah, board shorts for example. Here I can find different shorts and uh, equip them to my fighter as I wish. To make look at this one the ufc and then finally we've got the style now this year there have been new fighter stances postures added to the game so for my fighter here i've chosen mike tyson as his stance but yeah i could have gone for muhammad ali and equally there's quite a few new ones like conor mcgregor one conor mcgregor two and there are others as well for the stare down you can just go through and choose what you want press x and then press down or up right or wherever you want to bind it to so i want to bind it to the left as you can see i've got an empty slot at the bottom so i'm going to find this one here and then i can use those during the stare down next up we have the post fight similarly i can choose what i want to give him i'm gonna go for the go home give him that little fresh little whoa that's a bit mad <laughs> all right cool anyway you can have that and then uh, yeah similarly for taunts you can equip those to different sections and give the shoulder wiggle and then here we have the walkout music but i don't want to play that and that's a wrap for that make sure you save your calves and uh, hit like button subscribe if you're interested in seeing more calf content there's loads of formulas going to be coming to the channel and i already have loads from ufc4 that you can use catch you guys next one i'm aiden thanks so much for watching this video i'm out of here peace